Okay, so have a look at this image. And when you look at the screen right now, there, maybe you just think, oh, this is just some, some normal Barrett's esophagus or, or even an irregular Z line. And then you push in, you think, well, okay, that looks fine. Uh, and then you carry on your gastroscopy. But just come back again. So let's get it in neutral position. Again, angulus is here. So now we've really got the three o'clock um, lesser curve, nine o'clock greater curve, come back. Uh, and then we see uh, here in the two o'clock, probably two, three o'clock, we see um, something that's a little bit more red. Now it's not obvious. I'm gonna give you that it's really not obvious um, that it's a bit more red. There's a biopsy side in it, um, in the middle of the screen right now, we could put an arrow. Um, and when you get up closer, you start to see that the pattern of this, not really the same as the pattern of this. So this sort of pattern, kind of a bit more open, and we are on stomach there, but let's just take this part. Uh, you can kind of nicely see the glandular pattern. On this side, you don't really see that. Now, it's actually very difficult in white light to do that. So that's why you need to find the virtual chrome endoscopy button on your scope. And now when we look on this side, very obviously, you can very obviously see a nice normal pattern uh, of um, yeah, glandular mucosa or Barrett's esophagus, that is. And then when we come back around here, look at this. You don't see that. Um, but it's a bit blurry, you might say. Well, David, get me a better image. Okay, so I will try. And then you try this sort of image, for example. So using the cap, it really allows us to control the focal length. And you can see that the pattern is gone. Um, well, it's regularly, it's kind of regular, but it's lost regularity. So you might call it regularly irregular. You can see very clearly here, something kind of squamous growing into that area. And that's a biopsy site where someone has taken a biopsy of this. That biopsy showed high grade dysplasia with uh, potential markings of intramucosal adenocarcinoma. Uh, and then we look at this area and we see that the architecture is is quite disrupted. I mean, it's not totally lost. It's certainly not ulcerated. It's certainly not completely irregular, but it is not regular. And then finally, the question of, well, okay, uh, this bit's abnormal. What is normal? So we can interrogate the rest and have a look at this one. This one has a regular structure. We go around the whole of the junction. This all has a regular structure. We're looking for something irregular. I don't see it yet. I still don't see it. I don't see it here. And then we come round. Okay, so now the question is, where is the border of normal and abnormal? So you can use acetic acid, but you often get on the border a hypertrophic reaction, right? So you look for it. And now you see it here. So you see uh, in the caudal part of this image, you see standard gastric mucosa. Then you see a hypertrophic reaction at the edge of what is probably a tumor. And then where the cap is, is the tumor. So I'm now gonna unfreeze this, pull back, and now you beautifully see the demarcation line between the tumor, which is at the three o'clock. And as you progress from three o'clock to nine o'clock uh, into the center of the image, you see hypertrophic reaction and then normal mucosa. So this is very, very clear here. And, and almost you can microscopically see the border of it here, uh, where it ends at the bottom, at the six, sorry, and where it ends at the 12 o'clock. Um, and then if you just push in a little bit and come back, uh, and then we turn onto it with a cap, you really can nicely image that. So that is a demarcation line. That whole uh, area, I would say, is a demarcated area. So that area now extending from about 10 to two o'clock. And as we come up, the whole thing is abnormal. So all that needs removing. All right, well, I hope that was useful for you. Um, that's how to image um, high-grade dysplasia in Barrett's esophagus. Thanks for watching.